Gia is in Cobble Hill, the neighborhood in question. Gia, if this hospital closes, uh, how will it affect you? Well, I'm a lifelong resident of Cobble Hill. My family has owned a brownstone in Cobble Hill since 1921, so many years. My mother worked there for 26 years, as well as many of my relatives, family, friends in the area. This hospital is such an intricate part of this neighborhood. It's I don't think other people understand, as well as it being another hospital that nobody cares is closing, our, our mayor and our governor, which is just sickening. They want to sell it because we have beautiful skyline views and they want more condos. And they think people are stupid that we don't realize this. We don't need any more condos. People here are terrified. We need this hospital. My father is in Cobble Hill Nursing Home, Cobble Hill Health Center, which is directly around the block from Cobble Hill, from Long Island College Hospital. Those people in there count on that hospital to survive. What, what would be they... acceptable, Gia? What would it be acceptable if there was some health care in some form, maybe a, a walk-in center or, or, or a, a, you know, an environment that has some sort of specialty? Would that be acceptable, or do you want a full-functioning, full-floor hospital? Yes, I did want to. I want this hospital saved because SUNY was so underhanded about what they did, and this now is being brought to the attention of everyone in the United States. I think hearing this, and we have to bring this out. SUNY did this so underhandedly; they're not showing anybody any papers. You know, claiming their fifteen million dollar a month. Um, deficit or whatever they're claiming. They, they mismanaged the hospital on purpose because they wanted this money. Gia and, in Cobble you know, Hill. I've heard I, that claim I, by many Brooklynites. Uh, Gia, thanks. i uh, got a lot of calls to get to now. Uh, thank you for that. John in Woodside, as promised. For the life of me, I cannot understand